The group were all in the safe room. So sister is on the roof. We won't be long now, Papa said. Zoe then opened the door to the safe room. Almost there, Sister Bear. We'll save you, Zoe said as the group head out towards the rooftop. They got their way up to the rooftop. Well, guys, we'll just have to find a ladder to climb up to the roof. You mean up there? asked Mama. You heard her, Mama, replied Bill. Zoe climbed up to the rooftop with Mama, and Papa took a look around. The coast is clear. You guys may come up, Papa Bear called down below as Francis, Bill, and Louis were all soon up to the rooftop. Has anyone seen Sister Bear? Mama asked. I'm here, Mama, on the satellite. I'm tied up, Sister replied as the group got down to see Sister tied up to the satellite. I'll free her. Bill, got a knife or something? Zoe asked. No sorry, kid, he said. Francis then found a hunting knife in his vest. Oh, I forgot I had this with me. Here, Zoe, you can use this. Francis ha said, handing Zoe the hunting knife. Zoe climbed upstairs when the smoker grabbed her and started to pull her away when Papa shot at the tongue. It got caused the smoker's tongue to be broken. Stay away from us, you jerk! Papa shouted as he killed the smoker within a few shots. Zoe got to the satellite and saw Sister Bear was tied up. Who are you? Sister asked Zoe as she crouched on her level. I'm Zoe. I helped your mama and papa get here with my friends. Zoe said as she pulled out the hunting knife and cut through the rope. It was a bit hard, but the knife was too strong for the ropes that weren't very strong. Come with me, kid. You're free, she said. Sister followed Zoe down to the rest of the group. Sister! Mama said, crying happy tears along with her and Papa as they hugged Sister when they ran towards her parents. This is just too beautiful, Francis said about to tear up when Bill smacked Francis to snap out of romance. Don't be an ass, Francis. Bill said after a moment ended, everyone looked at Bill. I need everyone's attention, he said. We are getting the helicopter to come and get us. We signal him and we stay together. And that means we have to fight a horde of zombies. Someone will have to keep the kids safe along with the parents. I'll keep Mama and the Papa safe, Francis said. Sister was confused and wasn't sure what to do. You'll be fine. You'll be with me, sister. Just stay with me, Zoe said as her maternal instinct flowed through her mind. Bill signaled the helicopter to come and pick them up, so they all had to hold off for a while as the fight with the horde of zombies was going on and Sister saw a smoker. Zoe, look out! Sister shouted as Zoe turned around quickly and killed the smoker. Then a hunter was a pounce on Sister when Zoe shoved the hunter away before killing it. Sister was scared of the zombies, but stayed close to Zoe at least she is safe. Zoe, I'm scared, she said, hugging her leg. I know, I am too. But we have to stay strong for a while longer, Zoe said as the tank was approaching. Everyone started to shoot down the tank when Zoe was pushed off the building of the rooftop. Zoe was okay, but she saw Sister was about to fall. Zoe, help me, quickly, Sister said as Zoe was able to shoot the last bullets to kill the tank and grab Sister Bear right when she was about to fall. Someone help, Zoe cried as Louis grabbed Zoe by her waist and helped to pull Sister up. You sure scared me, sister, but I saved you, she said, rubbing sister's back. Thanks, Zoe. Thanks, Louis. Sister smiled. No problem, Zoe said. Both of the same thing at the same time. They started laughing along with sister. Then after a second round of the horde of attacking and the second tank attack, the helicopter show up. Zoe threw sister bear on her back and she held on to Zoe's neck without choking her, her as the rest of the group got on the helicopter and they left no mercy hospital. Meanwhile, in the Church of Death Toll, Witter Jones was looking down in her crystal ball. For witch's sake! Those survivors aren't giving up! She growled in anger. Well, Jones, they were. The boomer was cut off by Witter Jones when she smacked him across the face. I don't care what they say. I'm so evil, I can do whatever I want. At least they got Sister Bear. Maybe they can get to Brother in, Ted, in Death Toll, Witter Jones said as she pours herself a glass of wine and then begins to drink it. Drink it. Witter Jones then sat on the couch, drinking the rest of her wine. Being evil is so great, Tank. Get me another for bottle of wine, will ya? She replied. The Tank then did, as he was told. Well, in the helicopter, everyone was safe, and they were all very quiet, until Zoe had to make a statement. Well, that's over, so, um, yeah, what now? Well, we're gonna have to go somewhere safe. What's next on the a on the map? Bill asked Papa as he pulled out the map to show the group. So we got Sister Bear from No Mercy Hospital. What's the boathouse in Death Toll? Mama asked. 
Well, there is a boathouse in that area, so that means either brother, Lizzie, or Freddy must be there, Papa added. You're right. It's circled, so we gotta go, go get the next cub, Francis said as the pile of the helicopter was starting not to feel so good. Are you okay, sir? Sister asked, and the pilot looked at Sister and was about to attack her. Sister screamed as Zoe shot down the pilot, and then the helicopter was going out of control. Zoe quickly pushed the dead zombie pilot out of the helicopter. When she made the helicopter there to be on control, all of a sudden, a wicked witch laugh startled everyone. Witter Jones was on her broomstick. Some you pretties have gone away from the hospital. Well, we'll see if I can make a crash landing to the boathouse. Witter Jones laughed as she threw a fireball at the helicopter, which made the engine crash, and the helicopter was falling. Crap, we're falling! Francis Lewis shouted. Did Hold on, let me see if I can get land this thing, Zoe called at Lewis as she landed the helicopter, Durr, and it was about to self-destruct. It's gonna blow! Run! She shouted as everyone from the group ran as far as they could away from the helicopter to took cover from what's going on to happen next. The helicopter made an explosion, which it didn't hit anyone, thankfully. The coast is clear. The explosion didn't hit, attract any attention, Bill said as he and the group got away from taking cover. The helicopter exploded, so what now? Papa asked. Well, that's how helicopters are supposed to land, Francis asked, shaking his head. Well, guys, I guess we're walking, Zoe sighed. If Zoe didn't land the helicopter before the explosion, we could have all died. Well, we'll get that Witter Jones witch if it's the last thing we do, Lewis said. Maybe we could find another vehicle, or even someone to help, Papa said. That's a great idea, Papa. Maybe two or three people can go find a vehicle while the rest stay here, Sister suggested. I like that plan. Bill and I will go with you guys. Go and you guys can stay, Zoe suggested as Sister tugged on the Zoe sweater. Yes, she asked. Can I please go with you and Bill? Sister asked as, what if Witter Jones comes back or something? She was worried, so Zoe crashed down to Sister's level. Of course you can come with me, Sister, but you have to stay close to me and Bill, so don't wander off, Zoe replied. We'll find a safe house in the meantime. We'll send you guys a signal when we do find a safe house, Lewis said as Mama found a backpack that had two walkie-talkies. We'll have to use these, and so in case if you're heading to the safe room, you can tell us. Mama landed, handed Bill a walkie-talkie while Lewis held the other. That's a smart idea, Zoe replied, as Mama walked towards Sister. Now listen to Zoe and Bill for me, Sister. Listen especially to Zoe. You she, look up to her as if she was your big sister, Mama Bear said to Sister. I'll listen to them, Mama, and we'll be careful, Sister said as she went up, went, went up there with Bill and Zoe to find another vehicle and make their escape. Now let's head to the safe room and stay with us. Francis said. Meanwhile, Bill and Zoe were on the bridge, trying to look at the map to what, of what Papa found. Now you sure that brother is in the boathouse in Death Toll? Bill asked. Yes, Bill, I'm sure. Zoe said, as Sister was sitting around doing nothing when she saw a house that had a doll in it, so she went to go find out what was in the house. Where did Sister go? Bill asked Zoe. Asked as Zoe turned around to see that Sister was gone. God damn it! Zoe said as she face palmed for not paying attention to her. The safe house isn't far yet. Yet, yeah, you okay to come with us, Bill and Zoe? Lewis asked. I just have to get sister and then we could. Zoe felt that she, well, the ground was shaking. What the hell was that? She then started to realize that the house was flooded with cream cheese filling made a river, carrying Sister Bear who was laughing. See me, Zoe, she called. Zoe was scared for sister's safety. I'll catch up to you guys. I'll meet you guys at the safe house once I get sister. Zoe replied as she began to run on the bridge. I'll pull you out, sister. Zoe says she tried I had to get ahead of sister and stopped to where she could pick sister up. But as Zoe was reaching to grab sister, she fell in the cream cheese river. And then she got in a plank full of metal that was, was making her stand on it like a surfboard. I'm coming, sister. She called as she was trying not to fall into the river. For, then she landed and, and she and sister both saw a garage with a self... Safe house sign as they fell into the cream cheese bank. And Zoe was sitting up as after as Sister stood up to see Zoe. She was eating some cream cheese when she saw Sister Bear wrapped in her in a hug. Sister, she, she sighed in relief, knowing that Sister was safe. Zoe, did you see me? Sister asked as Zoe stood up with Sister. Yes, I did. And that really scared me that you wandered off without telling me or Bill on where you were going. 
Promise me that you will tell us where you're going next time. It's not safe with the infected roaming around, Zoe replied as she was walking to the safe room with Sister. Zoe, I'm hungry, Sister whined. Zoe sighed and groaned at the fact that she hates him when Francis whines, and same with Louis. Well, we'll find something, Zoe grumbled. Her stomach grumbled as sisters did the same thing. Zoe then saw something. Sister, she said. She finds a room store of food. Wow, look at this. This food could save all of us. We haven't eaten in a while, Zoe said as she and sister were drooling a bit. Guys, Zoe and I found food, sister called as the rest of the group walked towards the door, which had was a restaurant of food. It smells good. We haven't had a meal in a long time since the infection started. Francis said as the group chowed down on food until they were full. After eating for about an hour, the group was, was in the safe room and they were all full. That was really good, Papa said. Thanks for handling finding food, Sister and Zoe, Mama replied. I haven't had a cooked meal like that since before the infection started, Zoe replied to the group as they rest up for a while. They all agreed that they were ready to move on once they found another way out of the alleyways. The group rested up for about an hour after eating the food, and that Zoe and sister had found. We should be able to get to find a way out of here, Papa Bear said. He checked to see if the coast was clear. No one here. It's safe, he said. Let's move out, people, Bill said to the group as they followed Bill to find a vehicle to escape. Look over there, Mama pointed out. The group saw that it was a garage, so they walked inside. Maybe a vehicle there will help us get out. Everyone looked around ahead until Zoe and Francis looked up along with Sister Bear to see an armored truck. Now that is a badass truck, Zoe commented. I've got an idea, said Francis. Let's steal that truck and step on the gas and do a non-stop until we reach Witter Jones that has put Brother Bear in danger just so we can save him and the rest of the cubs. If we powered up that generator, we could bring down the lift, Lewis added. Sounds like a great plan, said Papa. Who's starting the generator? Zoe asked, but no one said a word, except Sister who stepped forwards towards Zoe. I'll go with you, but I never started an engine before, or generator, Sister said to Zoe. I'll start it, and you can help by letting me know if you see anyone or Witter Jones, Zoe said. As she looked around for the guys, they're crossing her arms, seeing that no one wants to do it, she, but her and Sister. All right, guys, real brave. I guess we'll do it by ourselves. Zoe and sister walked towards the generator, and she and sister got there. Zoe started to power up the generator. Powering up? It will just take a second. Come on, generator. Come on. The generator is powering powered up. Making the lift to go of the truck going down slowly, it made a loud noise, and the horde of zombies started towards runs to survivors. They were able to gun the horde down when the generator went off. Generator is off, Lewis said. We've got to restart the generator, Zoe said. Francis, go restart the generator, Lewis said as Francis jumped to it and ran towards the generator. Generator. They fired the zombies down so Francis could get a restart without a problem. Francis made it as the generator began to restart it. As soon as we get the truck down, I'm going to run you over, you piece of crap, Francis said as he got the generator working again as the tank was approaching. Francis, look out, Sister cried as Francis saw the tank and started to shoot at it. Zoe, we got to do something. The tank is chasing Francis. Zoe knew what to do. She, along with Bill, Louis, Mama, and Papa, got down and began to shoot at the tank by shooting him from all different directions. Take that, you piece of horse crap, Bill said as he threw a Molotov at the tank, causing him to be set on fire. The tank then ran after Bill when Louis shot him down, at the, down with a hunting rifle. Over here, you ape, he laughed as the tank, tank then ran after him. Then Sister threw candy at him. Come here, you big prime ape. Sister stuck her tongue out when Francis stabbed him in the chest, causing the tank to cry out in pain when he was on the ground, burning from the fire and groaning in pain from the, the blood he was losing. From the stab that, chest that Francis did, he died at least a few seconds. Yeah, Francis cheered. I am awesome. We helped too, Sister replied. Francis' cheeks went red, but she couldn't help but smiling. Yeah, you all did. Thanks for reminding me, Sister. Francis said as the truck was down and the lift was finished putting the truck down. The lift is down and the truck is down, Lewis said as the smoker grabbed Sister Bear and she screamed. Stop him, Bill shouted as Zoe was the only one who ran to the rescue. The hunter then scratched Zoe which caused her to scream in pain when she shoved the hunter out of his way. Papa then began making a distraction for the hunter. Hey you leaping thing, come after me, Papa Bear said playfully as the hunter began to chase him. Yike! He screamed as he began to run away from the hunter. 
Zoe ran towards Sister, who was being strangled by the smoker when she fell into a pool of ice-cold water. Zoe shot down the smoker, and she walked up to the freezing pool, which she was cold in the water when she went, that went up to her waist. She bends down to pick up Sister in her ballerina costume, and she was freezing. Zoe ran back to the group of Sister Bear. Sister Bear is cold, Zoe said, as Sister was shivering. Louis shot down the hunter that was chasing after Papa. Zoe took off her sweater, which was dry. Bill, help me take Sister's costume off, Zoe said, as Bill took ba Sister's ballerina costume off, and Zoe wrapped Sister in her sweater. It was the only thing, the only thing she was wearing was a white lawn sleeve shirt. She held Sister close to her. Oh, God, she's going to freeze to death if we don't warm her up, Zoe said as she was close to crying herself. Damn, I should have paid more attention, she said. It's not your fault, Zoe. You saved Sister. We'll warm her up, and that hunter that has scratched you good, Mama said as she was seeing scratches on Zoe's legs. Here, let's get her to the truck and warm it up. Francis started, Louis started the truck to try to get the heat on. Zoe glanced down at her legs to see that the hunter had scratched her good. Are you going to be able to walk? Mama asked. Yeah, I should be able to, Zoe said as she carried Sister into the truck. She was limping from the scratches that the hunter did to her. But Zoe was more worried about Sister than anything else. She didn't care about her injury, except Sister was cold. Zoe held Sister close to her, to her body. It's not working, really. My sister isn't warm enough, and she's still cold. Here, Zoe, why don't you, why don't you bring Sister close to your body heat, Francis said. Well, I guess so, Zoe said. That doesn't mean by that way is having your body heat, being in contact with her body heat, will help her warm her up, Louis said. Zoe took off took off her sweater that Sister was on, and luckily Mamba was able to have a change of clothes for Sister to be put on when she was warm enough. Zoe then Zoe then held her Sister close to her to her and Sister in her arms like a baby, and held her close to her body to provide pod body heat. Zoe was tearing up as Sister groaned a bit as she stared up at Zoe. Zoe? She asked weakly. You'll be okay, Zoe said as the truck started moving and the group were going out of their own problems to find a way out. They were lucky that they got out alive.